Tiger at uh, thebestvideo.com, and I, I wanted to show you something, uh, share with you my enthusiasm for a really great tool. Uh, I think it's um, it's deserving of a, a lot more exposure and uh, recognition. This is a tool that I use for my editing, for my video editing, uh, and it's from a company called Cyberlink. Uh, they make a bunch of tools. Uh, I don't necessarily care for all of them, but this one in particular called Power Director. Um, it allows you to be a power director and I use it to edit my videos. One thing I really like about it, and there's a bunch of things in there, um, one that I really like is how you can easily fix the audio. You know, you, you record something and there is noise, there is like uh, static electricity, maybe you have a, a loose contact on your microphone or it's, a, it's an old microphone and you're getting all sorts of static or there's wind or there's some clicketing sounds you know the wife is doing some work in the kitchen and there's all sorts of stuff happening and uh, they have a one or two clicks away from fixing that audio really easily done so I, I'm gonna show you some example um, that um, that really convinced me that I need to do this video to tell you about it Right, so here we go. Uh, this is Power Director running, and what I'll do is I'll grab my video here. This is a video and audio track in one, an AVI file. And um, one thing that you see right away at the bottom here, it's got the uh, soundtrack as a waveform. Uh, if you go and play that, born here, and that had uh, had a benefit of um, allowing. You'll hear some talking, and you'll hear a lot of noise also. Check this one. Highlight in there. It sounds like there's a waterfall in the background or some static noise. Maybe somebody's playing Halo and it's stuck on that uh, second yeah, level on yeah. Halo 1 where you see the waterfall after you crash land. <laughs> uh, not good. Well, it's great because I mean, good memories of good game, but we need to fix that audio, right? So here's how you do that. You select the clip and you go click here, fix and enhance. And we're not going to enhance the, the quality or the brightness or anything, lighting enhancement, but this one here, audio. And you can choose different types of enhancements. Uh, there's noise that's like the static uh, or stationary noise. That, that would be the, your most common white noise. Uh, maybe bad connections and little corrosive uh, plugs on your microphone. Maybe an old microphone, maybe it's squashed, stuff like that. Uh, might be also overdriven. Wind noise will typically make it... You know, like you're blowing into the microphone and it makes this really big, like almost a thunder. Uh, and then there's clicking noise. Clicking noise is typically when you have stuff like this. You got, uh, you know, a spoon lying around. You put it into the uh, the coffee cup or uh, you got somebody working in the kitchen next to you and it's just picking up a lot of uh, sounds. Uh, the one that we're looking at here is stationary noise. Let's click that. Uh, you can click here or it's actually doing that for you. And in a matter of just a few seconds, and I'm granted I'm on an i7 here, fairly fast machine, but in, in, in fairly short time frame, you've got the whole thing analyzed, and you can now say, okay, I don't need any degree of improvement. Let's see what that sounds like. Still very much that static noise. In fact, if you want it louder, you can go and grab it right here. Grab it here as well. Bring it back down. So it's, it's that easy. Start with my white. Select a uh, simple drawing tool. So lots of static here, right? So so now we increase the degree of fixing that static. This one maybe was a little bit larger. It's all made, all, almost gone already. There you go. And there we go. So you know the default is at this and level. See, I'll start with That's pretty clean. Now you can overdo it and go beyond that. That might kind of sound a little bit muffled or tinny, tin canny. Um, Actually, it hasn't really so much, but it ca it has a potential, you know. So experiment with that. Use the default; it usually works, and that's why I'm saying it's just one click away of perfect audio. Um, so what I'm going to do here is actually remove all these uh, sound levels that we had here. Undo that a few times. There you go. And I'm just going to grab the whole thing, bring it up to the max, uh, bring it up to this side here too. Grab this control point, and so now it's a little bit louder. But no more. There it is. And here it is. Gone. No more static noise. So that's the beauty of it. Um, it's more like dark under. This is Power Director. And uh, it's a great tool. I mean, I think it's about 99 bucks or something like that. It's next to nothing. It's it's a phenomenal tool. And I, it's got some really high powered capabilities on the production side, uh, output in many different formats. 
on the capturing side uh, you can record the camera directly um, it's got oh there it is uh, let's get this dude out of here <laughs> uh, and, and then you can of course add also uh, soundtrack uh, you know mp3 files music uh, I love of course the DJ D'Artagnan background music that will add to this uh, but there is just a lot of things you can do with this here adding particle effects transitions uh, lots of really good stuff this one here is a lifesaver I mean the, the fixing the audio really saves you when you have bad audio and you know what you want to do re-record it sometimes that's just not possible well here you can really give it a shot at making it good or even perfect all right well hope that was helpful and again this is Philip Steiger with the best 3d.com with a little insider tip on power director my favorite tool that I use because I can't afford it select a uh, simple drawing tool such as this one maybe work a little bit larger I'll start with the overall shape of my acorn. I'll add a little bit of a highlight in there. Um, I'll probably start with my white and select a uh, simple drawing tool, such as this one, maybe work a little bit larger. And there we go. Uh, let's see, I'll start with the overall shape of my acorn. I add a little bit of a highlight in there. And I'll walk off this cap on here. And I'll put in a few of these leaves while I'm at it. 